You can't tell, can you? The word of the morning is, it will have to do. It will have to do. <laughs> you can't tell if the guitar is in tune, can you? Online with the recording quality. So, Wednesday, today is Wednesday, and that is the quiet day of Holy Week. Nothing happens. Jesus stays in Bethany with his friends. Um, it's funny. We don't usually have services on Wednesday. There's nothing in particular. People are uh, busy, you know, getting things ready at the church and so on. Um, but uh, we are not necessarily thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen Friday. Jesus' disciples were similarly occupied with the Passover and all that. But Jesus, on that Wednesday sitting around and visiting with his friends, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. He was, he was thinking about their dinner tomorrow and his arrest tomorrow and his crucifixion on Friday. And I hope, thinking also, about the surprise he had in store for Sunday. We're going to not be dealing with that in our text today because we're going straight through Matthew. So we're at the end of Matthew chapter 4. We're going to sing today. Hymn number 832, 832, Jesus Shall Reign. Mm. Jesus Shall Reign wherever the sun does its successive journeys run. His kingdom stretch from shore to shore. Till the moon shall wax and wing no more. <clears throat> to him shall endless prayer be made, and endless praises crown his head. His aim like sweet perfume shall rise with every morning sacrifice. start over. Matthew 4, <laughs> verse 23. And he went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. We were watching The Chosen last night. <clears throat> We've been still making our way through season one, almost to the end of that. We're on season two. We're on season two? Yeah. So we did, we are at the end of season one and now into season two. And, in the middle of season two. And uh, I don't know, the great crowds that there's, there's like 50 people in line. They're saying, this is, this is 
far greater crowds than that. Um, and they, they were thinking Jesus went to Syria. And this doesn't say that. Um, hard to say exactly where Jesus went, which I think was kind of the point, actually, that, that Jesus was um, difficult to pin down. Uh, people had to search and find him uh, in... Uh, uh, and he's coming from all these places with strange names. Or these people are coming from all these places with strange names. His his name goes out. His fame spreads throughout all these places. Uh, because people are telling one another. It's it's good to think about how far away we're talking about. So so it's, he's ministering in the Galilee. Um around the Sea of Galilee and the Galilee Valley, kind of the, uh, that could be, the Galilee could inf could include as far away as Nazareth, which was the best part of a day's walk to the west towards the Mediterranean, um, and over towards, all the way to the mountains separating, you know, on the other side of the Jordan, separating Israel from modern-day Jordan, and uh, could include all the way down into Samaria, that that whole area up there that's that's the kind of the watershed of the Sea of Galilee. And that's a lot of that's a lot of places. So let's say roughly equivalent to a county. The county that you're in. That's the Galilee. So for for uh for this area, so let's say Washtenaw County. Um, and, and then where would the Decapolis be? Well, that's down the Jordan River for the south, so Milan and Dundee, down that way. Uh, like down the Jordan River would be down US 23. Um, to Jerusalem. And so that's even further down. That's, that's down to, well, it's not as, yeah, maybe as far as Toledo. Like if I'm going from Ann Arbor to Toledo. So uh person doing ministry in around Ann Arbor, that area, and people from Toledo heard about him. And and people from uh Syria, that would be like that's way north, but it's not way, way north, because uh when we were when we were there, do you remember when we were close to Syria? Mm -hmm. We went up to Mount Hermon, uh, to that area. That was our bus was an maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, we were going north and east because we were going up to we went to Bethsaida on the northeast corner of the lake, and then up where were we going? Caesarea Philippi and Tel Dan. Mm -hmm. So probably Bay City. Uh, Lansing, that far north. No, that doesn't seem like that far to us, really. That's half of the state of Michigan, the lower half of the state of Michigan without the west side. Uh, lower half of southeast Michigan. That's a, that's a wide area for a guy to draw an audience from. Except you've got to, you got to recognize they all had to walk. So, if we translate those distances into times, uh, and let's say it's a five-day walk from Jerusalem to the Galilee, let's say let's make it four days because it doesn't have to go all the way up to the top of the Galilee, right? Uh, four days of walking from the south end to four days of walking at the north end of it. And two days of walking either way, east and west. How far could you drive in that time? That's a that's a quite a trip. That people are coming. You could say that a guy is preaching in Southeast Michigan, and people are coming from from Toronto, and and the east end of Ontario, and northern Canada, way up. And, and Tennessee and, and, uh, Alabama and, and 
Wisconsin and Minnesota all coming to Southeast Michigan to hear this guy. That's how far people would go to hear Jesus. I met somebody yesterday in Ann Arbor uh, who uh, he said he was he was looking for a church. He, uh, in the course of our conversation, you know, he learned that I had retired from church and he, he was looking for a church and I, I had a good church to recommend him to. Um, but he said, but we live in Canton and that would be a little far of a drive. And so I mentioned some churches over that way. But now this morning I'm reading this text and I'm thinking, that's not far. If the gospel's there, that's, if the good news of, of the forgiveness of your sins and eternal life is there, of course you figure I can get it here, I can get it there, I can get it someplace convenient, right? But of course, if we arrange all things to our convenience, we are sort of missing something, aren't we? We we get in the habit of making the gospel a thing that that works for us, fits into our plans, instead of saying my whole life and my whole plans are going to fit around the gospel. These people, they they took their spring break. <laughs> They used their family vacation. They took all their personal days. They disrupted their lives in order to go find someone they heard about. To go searching around the Galilee to listen to this man and to see if he would heal them. How far would you go? That's a Pastors always notice, you know, how many people come to Wednesday Lenten services? You know, if a church has 500 in attendance on a weekend, it has 80 in attendance, maybe, maybe 50 in attendance on a Wednesday night in Advent or Lent. Uh, Monday, Thursday is often, often more because it's one. It's the one communion service some people go to in the year. Easter Sunday, we'll see lots of people I haven't seen in a while. I hope you go to a service on Easter Sunday. But will you go with the Lord on Good Friday? Will you take? Will you take time and go the distance to seek to be there to recall? the time he spent for you and the road that he traveled for you. It reveals something about ourselves, the map we go. I, uh, if, you, if you enable tracking <laughs> on your phone, sometimes Google will give you this map. Oh, did you know the places you've been in the last month? And, the, and this little line. Yeah. All these places stores, entertainment, vacation, family or friends. I hope that the darkest line is back and forth to God's house. Lord Jesus, you came a great distance. From heaven to earth, you came. And then on painful earthly feet, Lord, you walked and walked and walked, seeking to bring the kingdom of God, announcing the, the gospel, the kingdom of God, and bringing healing and, and release from bondage to people. Oh Lord, in this week of all weeks, don't let us take for granted what you have given. Grant that we may may. Strap on our shoes and follow you. Search for you in all things. And go with you into the world. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. And the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.